details now on the impending replacement of Diamond Superintendent. As we've reported, there was immediate backlash when the school committee announced it was not re-signing Thomas Albin's contract after just three years on the job. At a meeting tonight, the committee voted to move forward with replacing the superintendent. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshuto was at tonight's meeting in Fall River and is live in studio with more. Sheena? Parents and students say they just don't understand why Thomas Aubin was voted out in the first place. They want more answers, and tonight they did hear some more reasoning, but they still made it very clear they are still not happy with it. At this point, I would like to make a motion to offer the position of superintendent director to Dr. Ferreira, subject to an agreeable contract between Dr. Ferreira Once again, dozens of Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School community members show their support for Superintendent Thomas Aubin. Earlier this school year, the school committee voted not to renew his contract. Many questioned that decision, saying Aubin is popular among students and staff. But at Wednesday night's meeting, a school committee member told the crowd he's heard plenty of complaints and the school district is moving in a new direction. This toxic environment, as was described to me through multiple, it is evidence through discontent among staff, both union and not. The committee approved a motion to offer the position to Dr. Elvio Ferreira, the current assistant superintendent. We spoke with Aubin himself after the meeting. He admits it's been a tough couple of weeks. I've been here over 31 years, and I, I think my track record in terms of performance speaks for itself. So, yeah, this is disappointing, no question about it. Eyewitness News has heard from dozens of students and parents who say they will always support Aubin. Aubin says he will continue to do the same for them. And if it were up to you, would you stay at this role? Oh, absolutely. I was uh, completely prepared to uh, sign a successor contract. Absolutely. Now, Dr. Ferreira will now either accept or decline the position. If he doesn't take it, the district will start searching for someone else. There was no clear timeline on when any of this will move forward. Reporting live in studio, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.